when you're easily offended, you're easily manipulated. And why is that so true? Well, I've got to tell you, it has a lot to do with how we react when we're offended or triggered. And before you encounter anyone who's going to trigger you again, I want to arm you with the knowledge of what happens, what truly happens when you react and what happens when you don't react and why that is so powerful. And at the end, I want to share some tips for holding that reaction back because it's a lot easier said than done. Let's get to it. Welcome to the Common Ego community. My name is Christina, and today we're talking about the power of not reacting. On this channel, a lot of times you'll hear me talk about responding versus reacting, right? So that is calculating your response instead of just letting it flow out your mouth. Because when you let that response flow, what you're doing really is you're letting your ego take center stage. And I want to share with you three reasons why not reacting is the more powerful way to go. So the first reason why not reacting is so incredibly powerful is because it gives you the power to write your own story. So when you react, it's what's happening behind the scenes is your ego is taking center stage. You're saying, okay, ego, here you go, you drive. And what the ego does is it attempts to keep us safe. Good intentions, right? But it can only operate based on past experience. Anytime anything happens to us, our mind and body, they keep score. And that's what jumps up and jumps in to protect us in the form of anger or defensiveness. Those defense mechanisms that kind of come out almost like before we can control them. And these reactions are based purely in past pain, maybe past traumatic events. And so if you feel like you're stuck in a cycle, like your life is on replay, you're repeating the same events and you keep getting hurt in the same ways over and over again, take a look at your reactions. Are you reacting or are you pausing to think and be present and to make conscious choices? So the second reason that it's so powerful to not react is that you are going to show up as your authentic self and so avoid the rumination spiral that comes after we let our ego take the wheel. So what I'm talking about here is when somebody triggers you, right? And you just, you just react like that. You just, you feel angry, you feel attacked and you just, first thing that comes to mind comes out. Now that is not always in character for you, is it? So a lot of us end up afterwards doing kind of a play by play replaying the events that happened and kind of re-damaging ourselves in the process. So not only were we triggered or offended by what this person said, but then on top of that, we're feeling bad. We're feeling guilty, maybe even some shame for the way we responded. After you react, you are acutely aware that you are not fully in control. You let your emotions get the better of you. And that's not really your best self, right? That's never our best foot forward. And so after the fact, even though the reaction, you reacting to something that somebody said to trigger you, especially if you know that they're doing it on purpose, it might feel good in the moment because you might feel like I've hurt this person or I've defended myself. So there's a fleeting positive feeling that can come after reacting. But more often than not, I found that when you start really thinking about what happened and reflecting on how you behaved, the positive feeling goes away and it's replaced with bad feelings. So you allowed this person to hurt you in two ways, really. They hurt you with the offensive thing that they said or the triggering thing that they said. And then you're hurt again because you reacted they were able to get a reaction out of you. And that just adds to all the negativity and the bad feelings of this encounter. So when you don't react, you are not acting out of fear or anger. You are acting consciously and you're acting with a clear mind. And from there, you're really not likely to regret things that you've said or done. So you can walk away from this encounter feeling good about yourself. The third reason why it's so powerful to avoid reacting is that you aren't contributing to negativity. Now think about it this way. When you go out into the world and you're feeling good, 
and you're interacting with other people, what do you expect of them? You hope for more positivity. You hope for them to reflect back to you what you are feeling inside. And often they do, right? Not always, but often, often you will find that. If you go out with a smile on your face, other people may smile back at you. So let's flip this around. When you go out and you're in a terrible mood, what do you expect from other people? You're probably not looking for positivity, right? Positivity might annoy you in that moment. When you're really in that, that grumpy place, that, that angry place, you're more likely looking for a fight. And maybe you don't go out actively looking for fights, but when somebody engages with you in that way, it might feel good, it might feel like a release to get that anger out. So when someone else is triggering you and they're doing it on purpose, what they're doing is essentially that. They're going out into the world with their negativity and they're not looking for your positivity. They're looking for your fight. But think about it like a black cloud. There's the person who's triggering you. They're coming to you. And even if they have a smile on their face, if they're trying to trigger you, they've got a black cloud over their head. Their energy is negative. And if you react instead of taking a beat and responding, what you're doing is you are contributing to their black cloud. You are giving them exactly what they want, exactly what they're after. And not only are you engaging, but you are making it stronger. You're making that negative energy more powerful. This is what they want. And so you contributing to what they want is making them more powerful. But not only that, when you do contribute to their black cloud, you walk away with some of it yourself. You don't get away scot-free because you're, you're feeling that negative energy too, and you contributed to it, so it's on you. And when you walk away, you might spread it to someone else too. The power in not reacting goes far beyond the encounter that you have with one person. There's often a domino effect. And even if you think that you don't carry forward bad feelings into other encounters, it's going to affect your energy in everything you do. So it's always best to leave it where it is. Do not participate in it. Do not accept it for your own. And that energy remains that person's problem. It's not yours. Okay, so what do you do when someone is triggering you? Let's say you are dealing with a total raging narcissist and every single time you encounter this person, they're coming at you and they're triggering you because they know how and they get pleasure out of it. The first and most important thing to do is to acknowledge and be able to identify when you are on the verge of reacting. So that just that moment, and it's milliseconds, right? But that moment right before you're about to let loose and just unleash on this person, take a deep breath. Breathe in slowly because that will help calm your mind and count your breaths. Breathe in for three, breathe out for three. This will help shift your awareness to yourself and it will help you from getting caught up in the other person's energy. Remember, this is theirs. This is what they are bringing to the table. It is not yours and you don't have to take it. So with that, I think it would be really helpful if we can set some new ground rules for these encounters. Number one, do not, under any circumstances, accept anyone else's opinion or criticism of you unless it can help you level up in some way. So listen, none of us are perfect, and we can all benefit from some self-reflection. In fact, it's healthy, and our interactions with other people can tell us a lot about what we might need to self-reflect on. Now, any of that stuff could be categorized as stuff that can help you level up. Because if you just keep doing the same old things, if you keep repeating the same old patterns, you're going to also see the same mistakes reflected at you. Sometimes information, even if it doesn't feel good in the moment, can help us level up. The stuff I'm talking about rejecting are things that are either not true about you at all, or they're just pure criticisms that you can't do anything about, like, you know, you have terrible hair. And whether you believe that to be true or not, it doesn't matter because what's happening in that moment is if that person feels the need to say something just purely hurtful like that, what they're doing is they're projecting. They have pain inside of them and they want you to take it on. 
They want you to hurt too. And the only appropriate response in that situation is to say, no, thank you. You can keep your pain. I don't want it. The second ground rule for not reacting is to commit to changing your story. And the ego is only going to drive you where you've been before. So if you want to change that story, if you want to access new roads and new paths, you have to take control and make more conscious choices. And the third ground rule I have for you is to look at every trigger. Every time someone's triggering you or offending you or making you feel bad and want to react, look at that as an opportunity for you to level up. Because when you're not accepting their negative energy, that is an opportunity for you to practice that muscle of being conscious, being in the present moment and not getting carried away in ego. In this way, you can start living a more conscious and deliberate life. And that is incredibly powerful. That right there is the power of not reacting. It's that you get to take control. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you are dealing with somebody who is triggering you, you may find this video that I did a while back on outsmarting the narcissist in conversation helpful. So I will link to it right over here. And if you did find this video helpful, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to help the channel and this video reach more people. And I will see you next time.